Hi Stampers, I've got a fun Santa gift card idea that I've made up and it's done with a lot of dies and punches. So I'm going to go through and show you what we're actually using. You just open it up and it kind of looks like a Santa suit and you just slip a gift card in there. Here is the sample of all the different punches and dies that we're using for this cute gift card holder. You're going to cut two of white and two of red in the big die, the big east die, the scallop circle. You're going to take the perfect pennant die and cut one of the pennants out. You're going to take a three and a half circle die and cut that circle out of ultra smooth vanilla. Then you're going to go ahead and take some punches, which we're going to use the word window punch over here, a scallop oval punch, extra large oval punch, small oval punch, and this Blossom Builder Punch. We're actually just going to use this piece of the Blossom Builder Punch. And the Tasteful Trims die, we're going to actually only use four of the scallops. And our new um, one and a quarter scallop punch. So, and of course the three eighths for the um, eyes. So let me show you how to put that together. Okay, I'm going to start with our back of the card. And I've already um, went ahead and scored that. So that's our back of our card. And this is going to be the inside of the card. But first, you'll want to put it in the perfect polka dots little folder, embossing folder. Run that through the big shot. And when you're done with it, it comes out like so. Okay, so you'll line that up to be in the center. And I'm going to go ahead and use glue dots. Whenever you use um, texture on your items, you'll want to use some glue dots because it will stick better for your item. That becomes our pocket. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the word window punch. There's two different ways you can do it. You can make it long or you can just make two of them. And then I'm going to glue this down on one side. And you have that little scallop there to fit it in so it works real nice. And then our saying is going to actually go on top of the center section so you don't need to worry about if it's if it's showing that. Okay, you're going to take the Lucky Limeade and put it on with dimensionals in the center of your card like that. And I'm going to go ahead and take the clock full of cheer, stamp it in the real red, and I'm going to just punch that out with our oval punch. Oh, actually I'm going to use a scallop oval punch and just line that up so it's in between the, the Christmas. Okay, then we've got the inside of our card so far. That's going to be our little pocket right there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and build the outside. You're going to want to take those two white pieces of cardstock that are with the scallop circle. When you cut the second one, just cut it in half. I'm just going to put it right on top of this one and you're going to put those two little petals in here too so you want those texturized. You put it for the fan fold and then you have this one. The fan fold doesn't cover this whole thing so if you look up there it's okay but that will be covered up. So I'm going to go ahead and we've got our face here so we'll want to actually put the face in there first. And before we adhere the actual beard down we're going to want to take the center and take your circle punch and um, because you want to make your little smiley face for the lips to come through. So just kind of eyeball this and that's where your lips will fit inside. And then let me get the actual face in there first. And then we're going to go ahead and put his beard on. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take this and make some cheeks for him. Kind of blot that off, but Ooh, he's going to have rosy cheeks, really rosy cheeks. Now we're going to take in his mustache. We've got his mustache. The way that you make this smile, punch it like this, and then come down a little further, and that's how you make the smile. And it's kind of like a little thumbnail moon. So I'm going to stick that down. And then stick this little, his little um, whiskers down. The nose will be good too. Let me go ahead and give his nose some pink 
on it so it was roses nose is kind of rosy and this is one of the ovals and you just want to fold this down a little bit kind of bend it so it will stick up and we'll just go ahead and put it on with a glue dot maybe two I'm going to have his nose come down just a little bit his eyes are just going to kind of go right by his little nose okay so there's his face so far now we're going to build his hat and the pennant die I'm just going to put it on his head kind of looks like an elf <laughs> or a dunce cap but that's not what we're going for so and we're going to take some of the scallop trim want to come down a little bit further than the red so there you go and it's popped up too so it's actually popped up twice then I'm just going to take this and kind of eyeball it and fold it over a little bit not totally crease it because I kind of want it to have dimension to it all right then we're going to take the two circles and put a dimensional on them like this and then you just put that pop that right on top and that's part of his little hat and if you want to you can grab another dimensional and put it underneath just to give it extra okay now we're just going to put it all together and put the adhesive right here because this is going to get a lot of use opening and closing I'm going to use glue dots all right so let's line this up kind of get him lined up with the red and the white and voila you've got your Santa gift card isn't that fun any of these products that you see can be ordered from stampinjill.com see you next time <laughs>